Hello, hi everyone. This is Ganesh, and in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, uh, the grouped frequency distribution tables. In this um, very important topics, that is, if we know the limits, uh, limits of the class intervals, so that class intervals, how can we converting into boundaries, boundaries uh, of the class intervals? At the same time, if we know the frequencies. then how can we converting into less than cumulative frequencies and greater than cumulative frequencies so in this video i am um, giving a shortcut to lcf less than cumulative frequencies and gcf means uh, greater than cumulative frequencies and f means frequencies ci means class intervals so these three things we can find and one more thing if we know less than cumulative or greater than cumulative frequencies how can we find the frequencies so all these three important uh, topics we are going to learn in this video by uh, giving a three examples i have selected three examples if you observe carefully easily you can learn about all these three topics so before going to the topic just don't forget uh, to uh subscribe this channel and please uh, share these videos to your friends and just look at the problem first yeah construct the class boundaries of the following frequency uh, distribution table and also construct less than cumulative frequencies and greater than cumulative frequencies so here three things we are going to find it class boundaries we have to find at the same time lcf and gcf so how can we find it let us see here already i have drawn a uh, distribution table you see first one is class intervals Th those are in limits so that means if the class intervals are in inclusive uh, class intervals uh, those are limit lower limits upper limits are there if uh, the class intervals are uh, uh, exclusive class intervals then they are having boundaries yes easily we can observe here 1 2 3 and uh, 4 2 5 such kind of numbers are there you see here 1 2 3 and 4 2 5 so 3 and 3 these two things are equal means those are exclusive class intervals these two are different so the reason these are uh, inclusive class intervals and in the inclusive class intervals here 1 is lower limit 3 is upper limit 4 is lower limit 6 is up upper limit so here we can't say these are boundaries then how can we converting into uh, boundaries so lower boundary upper boundary like that we are so how can we convert so here is it for converting generally the first number is 1 so here first observation is 1 so before 1 what will be 0 so uh, 0 plus 1 by 2 we have to find it that means uh, 0 plus 1 1 by 2 that equal to 0.5 so that we have to write it as uh, lower boundary of the first class interval and uh, how do we write this one means the first 3 3 plus 4 sum of these two sum of uh, these two divided by 2 and 7 by 2 7 by 2 means 7 by 2 is equal to 3.5 so that 3.5 write it here now here 3.5 is the upper boundary of the first class interval again for the second class interval 3.5 becomes uh, the lower boundary of the second class interval again to find the next uh, uh, for the second class interval upper boundary uh, take the average of 6 and 7 again 6 and 7 if you take 6 and 7 again 6.5 even no need to uh, no need to find that means the simplification not needed simply what is the average of 6 and 7 6.5 and again here again we'll start with 6.5 and again uh, what is the uh, upper boundary of the next thing means 9 plus uh, 9 and 10 average so 9.5 again 9.5 9.5 to 12.5 again 12.5 to uh, 15.5 so these are the boundaries of the given class intervals so boundaries means these two must be equal these two must be equal so then this becomes exclusive class intervals we can say at the same time boundaries also lower boundaries and upper boundaries we got it boundaries over and how do we find lcf and hcf hc gcf so lcf means less than cumulative frequencies less for finding the less than cumulative frequencies it is also very easiest thing to find the 
uh, LCF first from the frequencies first thing first uh, frequency directly we can write it after that this 10 plus 10 plus uh, next frequency is 12 10 plus 12 so 10 plus 12 becomes a uh, 22 so 10 plus 12 22 again uh, 22 plus uh, next uh, uh, frequency 15 22 plus uh, uh, 15 is equal to 37 37 so after that uh, again again you see 37 plus next uh, frequency 13 37 plus uh, 13 is equal to 50 and after that 50 plus uh, 9 59 so in this way we can find the less than cumulative frequencies general less than cumulative frequencies from up to down uh, it will be gradually it is increasing generally less than cumulative frequencies and coming to uh, greater than cumulative frequencies again from the frequencies we have to find not from LCF GCF again we have to find from the frequencies but for GCF greater than cumulative frequencies from downwards we have to move first frequency directly write it here in the down and uh, 9 plus 13 so 9 plus 13 what it will be 9 plus 13 22 write it here again 22 plus uh, 15 22 plus 15 is equal to 37 37 plus uh, 12 37 plus 12 that equal to 49 49 plus 10 again 59 the last numbers must be equal L lcm and uh, gcf must be that is sum of all the frequencies 59 and 59 so generally lcf means from upwards you have to uh, add it and from uh, gcf means downwards you can add it then what is the use of lcf and gcf for example you see here here the class intervals are 1 2 3 4 to 6 these are all ages of the students children ages of the children generally 1 2 3 years so how many children are there 10 children are there 1 2 3 years uh, and uh, 4 to 6 years 12 children are there 7 to 9 years 15 children are there like that so generally if anybody ask uh, how many children are there those are uh, uh, ages uh, 7 to 9 that means by uh, observing this table we can say 15 members are there but the thing is 1 2 3 that means less than 3 how many members are there less than 3 how many members are there means easily we can say 10 members and uh, less than 6 years how many members are there means uh, 12 members and less than 9 how many uh, sorry it, it's not like that it is for LCF, LCF I am, I am taking, LCF, less than 3 how many, 10, less than 6, 22, less than 9, 37, less than 12 years, 50 members are there, less than 15, 59 members are there, like that we can conclude, we can give the conclusion easily, but what about GCF means, uh, generally 13, uh, greater than 13, so 13 above is how many members are there, 9, and uh, 10 years above how many members are there 22 members are there so uh, above 7 years how many members are how many children are there 37 above 4 years how many uh, above 4 years 49 above 1 year and it's like that so for giving these kind of conclusions we have to find the lcf and gcf yeah i hope you understand uh, uh, well about how to find the boundaries and uh, HCF, uh, GCF and LCF uh, from the previous uh, example. Now look at this uh, uh, problem. Cumulative frequency table is given below. Which type of cumulative frequency is given? Try to build the frequencies of uh, respective class intervals. Uh, that is the question. So this is the given question. Here you see we can observe runs uh, 0 to 10 class intervals given up to 50 and a number of cricketers that means 0 to 10 runs how many members means 3 3 members uh, uh, and uh, here you see we have to observe the frequencies these are all frequencies but which frequencies LCF or GCF generally the frequencies are uh, the smaller number to bigger number gradually it is increasing all the frequencies that means these are LCF uh, less than cumulative frequency gradually increasing means uh, that is uh, uh, less than cumulative frequency we got it the question they ask which type of cumulative frequency that means simply remember if the frequencies are gradually increasing increasing means those are 
LCF less than cumulative frequency. Now they said uh, find the frequencies of the given uh, uh, distribution table. So here you see these are all class intervals and less than cumulative frequency given. How, to, how do we find the frequencies? We, we concluded already the given frequencies are LCF because gradually the, those are increasing from up to down. So now how do we find the frequencies? So first, uh, first uh, from the LCF, less than cumulative frequencies, first frequency directly we can write it. After that to get the second frequency, uh, the difference of any two successive, l l that means uh, less than cumulative frequencies. Now you see 8 minus 3, how much? That is 5, write it here. Now if you want third frequency, 19 minus 8, 19, these two you have to subtract, 19 minus 8, 11, that is, uh, that is third uh, frequency. If you want fourth frequency, subtract 25 minus 19. 25 minus uh, 19 is equal to, we'll get a uh, 6. So that we have to write it here. And the final thing, 30 minus uh, 25, that equal to 5, write it here. So in this way, we can find the frequencies if we know the LCF, LCF less than cumulative frequencies if you know means we can find the frequencies in this manner look at here here another problem is number of readers in a library are given below and write the frequency of uh, respective classes also write the less than cumulative frequency table they said so now here you see uh, 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 we can observe clearly from the given data a 42 is the highest uh, uh, frequency and 6. Gradually these are all decreasing from up, up to down. Gradually these are all. That means what kind of uh, uh, frequencies means GCF greater than cumulative frequencies. These are all. So by using this greater than cumulative frequencies first we have to find the frequencies. For finding frequencies what we have to do means from downwards we have to subtract uh, continuously. So these are class intervals and GCF we know already in, given in the question. So how to find the frequencies? The down one, downwards, from downwards we have to go move. So first one, six directly you can write it. Now to get the uh, second uh, class interval, that means here we need a uh, one more frequency. That means 14 minus six, uh, subtract it. If you subtract 14 minus six, we'll get eight. To get uh, this one, Next, next frequency, again we have to subtract 23 minus 14, 23 minus 14, then we will get a 9, okay, 9. Then, if you want next, uh, next thing, 36 minus 23, 36 minus 23 is uh, 13, write it here. And if you want next one, 42 minus 36, that is the final one, 6. So, 6 write it here. So, these are the frequencies given uh, that means we are finding frequencies right if we know the GCF we can find the uh, uh, frequencies in this manner but also they asked to find uh, less than cumulative frequency after finding frequencies find the uh, less than cumulative frequency what we have to do from upwards uh, gradually we have to add all the frequency for example first one 6 uh, 6 plus 13 19 19 plus 9 uh, 28, 28 plus 8, 36, 36 plus 6, 42. So these are uh, LCF less than cumulative frequencies. So I hope you understand well. So if you are not understanding, once again watch this video slowly. You can, you can easily find all these things, very simple concept this is. And uh, before uh, leave, just uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this uh, videos to your friends. Thank you very much.